this one we want to subnet into good number 30 networks let's say 30 networks so it's a slash 52 when we get it now what does the slash 52 mean the first 52 bits of our address is network bits. So I could write 52 ends here, take this bit pattern and convert to binary and say those are network bits, exactly as in IP version 4. It will be a bit long. So what we do first is say, sorry, let's use the black one. How many bits is that? 16. That is 16 bits. So those 16 bits are predefined network address. Those 16 bits are predefined network address. Those 16 bits are predefined network address. They cannot change. Exactly like an IP version 4, sorry, version C class network address, the first bytes cannot change. You don't need to do any calculations on those. So, this one is now the interesting thing because this is 16 plus 16 plus 16 equals 48. Those 48 bits predefined cannot change. But we have some over here. 48 to 52 is four. Four, four bits are also predefined here. And four bits equals one hexadecimal digit. Or nibble, one nibble. <laughs> equals one nibble. That nibble is predefined, cannot change. So if we take those two bytes, those 16 bits, we can do it as we do in IP version 4 and say, well, the first four bits are network bits. We can take the six and say, Say six hexadecimal. What is the bit pattern for six hexadecimal? The four is from 48. Those 16, 16, 16 is 48 bits. We have a slash 52, so we need four more bits to know how big is our network bits actually. How many network bits do we actually have? That means the first four bits of those 16 are network bits, predefined by our ISP. So we have one nibble. The first nibble of those 16 bits are network bits. That's those four. So I can take the last three nibbles, that is 12 bits, and say they can be subnet bits or host bits. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. How many of those should I use as subnet bits to make 30 networks? How many should I mark as subnet bits and how many will be host bits? Three. Four subnet bits. No, Four subnet bits? Five. 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 I need five bits. On one bit, I can make two networks. On two bits, I can make four. On three bits, I can make eight. Eight. On four bits, I can make 16, but I need 30. So I need five bits. Well, remember, this is my IP version 6. We always have lots of bits. We never do anything but subnetting on nibbles. So if I need five, I actually use eight. Mm -hmm. Always on nibble boundaries, always use in group of four. So what I do is say one, two, three, four. One nibble can give me 16 networks, not enough. Take four more subnet bits, gives me how many? Yes. No, actually 256. 
It fits is the 256 subnet, 20 by 30. But I always do it in groups of four. Four is not enough, I take another four. 256 network, yeah. Because it is recommended always to use nibble boundary when we subnet in IP version 6. That is basically to make it simpler. So, those four bits, this nibble is our network based on the address given by the IP. We have defined the next 16 bits to be subnet bits. So, the rest of it will be host address, which means there will be zeros in here. We're talking, that is when we're doing IP version 4. We need to find where is the border between network bits, subnet bits, and host bits. In this case, with the 52, first 48 bits are the predefined network bits. So this one is the one to discuss. Those two bytes, those four hexadecimal digits. Okay, we said those were 48 bits, that was 52, so the first four bits are network bits. Do not change. Must be hexadecimal six. It's uh, 52 minus the 48 that gives you the four bits. That gives me there are four bits here actually also used as network bits. Yes. <coughs> exactly, as when you do an IP version 4 plus saying it's an A, but I have it been given A slash 12, that means Additional four bits are network bits compared to the clouds. First 48 bits are always your ISP prefix. They are always used, depending on what you're actually given by your ISP, the ISP has used a number of bits for his location of your network. But you always have to, you always have to slash for that with the slash six, right? At least a slash 48, yes. So you always have to slash for that just to show up what the actual Probably always, yes. Okay, once I know that the first four bits of those two bytes are network bits, remember, cannot change that four bits. And then find how many bits do I need to make my networks. And remember always to subnet on nibble boundary. That means four bits at a time. If four bits are not enough, take another four. This gives us eight bits here, it gives us actually 256 networks. And first network address is always zeros, but the first network address is reserved for infrastructure network. So, basically what we do is a first network on zeros, Converting to hexadecimal, this one is to remain on six. Oh, what is the binary of six? Hexadecimal? Six. Same as six. Decimal six, and binary that is? Zero, zero, one, zero, one, one, zero. That is our bit pattern of our actual first subnet network. Second subnet of network, the first one we would actually use would be number one in the subnet bits. That would be a one zero 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 and hexadecimal or binary six. And the last bits are zero because we're not using them. That is your first subnet. What is this hexadecimal? Well, that bit, bit pattern is still six hexadecimal. Those four bits says zero. Those four bits says one. Those four bits says zero. So our network address would, would be 6010. That would be the network address. This would be the first. This would be the second oh, network. Sorry, no, no, that, yeah. Network number two, so the third network. Yes. Take your binary number, find the next binary number. Hmm. Two. Why two? Two. 
Not easy. No, no chain. Not a lap. The first four are zeros. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh. One, zero. Two. Next network is two. What I'm trying to show you is what is actually binary happening. But what you can do is remember how do we count hexadecimal? Zero equals, let me become too small, need some more space. Remember how you actually count binary or binary and hexadecimal. Zero decimal equals zero, 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 zero. Binary equals zero hex. That's the easy one. Decimal, binary, and hex. One, two, three, four, five, <coughs> six, seven, eight, easy. Let's take eight equals binary, one, zero, 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 equals eight hex. You can do one to eight, all of you, right? Okay, nine equals one zero zero one equals nine hex equals one 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 equals f that is the highest number we can say on one nibble that's the <coughs> highest number we can do on four bit and it is the highest number we can do on hex so which means whenever i need to write a number and say find the 30th network. What network number will the 30th network have? 29. 29. So there needs to be binary 29. I could do all the math, do it binary 29. 29 is something like 4, 8, 16. Oh, 1, 2, 4, 8, 16 plus 8, that is 24 plus Four, and four that is no, 28, yeah, 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 yeah. 28, zero, 0, 1, binary. Or I could say, well, 32 hex is what? That is 16. 13, 13, yeah, nice. 13 is a D. So 1 D is 20, network number 29. Always give you to take a look at it, binary. Take this number, is 29. Or 16 plus 13 is 29. Gives you exactly the same because those four bits are a one. So those four bits are a B. Sorry, those four bits, one, one. One yeah. is B. Yeah. B is B. No, one, B. One, one, zero, one is B. B is 13. 13 plus a 1 over here, a 16 over here is 29. So you don't have to do all the binary stuff.